I took a short break from doing feature films on cars. But when I found out that Eric's 335 put down 600 horsepower to the crank, I knew that that would be the next one on the channel. so good man such a good looking color i'll let you uh get ahead because i'm not sure which way you want to go in or whatever you bet intro the bloopers will be great on this one all right you guys so you heard it you see it in the thumbnail you see the title we have my friend eric's astoral blue f30 335 it is upgraded to stage two pure turbo and he is pushing down some serious horsepower we even have the dyno sheets to prove it to you introduce yourself welcome to the channel how you doing how you doing man fun backstory he was one of the early on subscribers and came out to what show was that import expo yeah yeah. Came out to Import Expo solely just to see my car, the F30, and that was how I met him. And at the time, your car was stock, right? Yeah, completely stock. So his car was completely stock. He came to the show, wanted to look at some of the parts that I had on my car in person just to see how they really stacked up. And then he got the mod bug. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> in a short amount of time, it's only been, it's been about a year, I think, since that happened. Yeah. In that short amount of time, his car has transformed tremendously. So Eric also came to the New Jersey Keys Auto Show with us. He's become a very close friend of mine over time. He's very well known in the F30 community here in Charlotte. And the build, I just think the build is so interesting that I had to get him onto the channel. It's pretty insane. All right, so first off, Eric, tell me a little bit about everything that you've done on the exterior of this car, so aesthetically. Put on the uh, BMW OEM 437M wheels. Just had those refinished. Mm -hmm. Uh, tint 20% uh, on the side, 70 up on the windshield. Had that done by your buddy Lewis over at Sensational. Absolutely. Also had him do the dyno shade on the headlights and the taillights, mm -hmm. as well as the uh, black vinyl eyelids yep. and the wrap on the roof okay. of the same uh, matte black. And then you so, also gosh. did the you also did the M Performance vinyl decal on the side skirts, right? Well, it came with that. I had Lewis put on a new one. Okay. And then this way, because the other one had water stains. Yeah, that, this, so this new one that. looks really clean. Came out mm -hmm. fantastic. It so did so this clean. did this car come with the 437Ms? No. No, I bought you those. You did those, right? Yeah, I got those. It came with the regular M Sport wheels. God, I love it. I think the 437Ms are easily my favorite wheels that people, the OE wheels that people put on these cars. Right. They look so good. They fit the body style so well, and they're nice and meaty. Yeah. Oh, I just love My them. goal is to, to keep it OEM plus. I like that. And so keep it nice and clean. Like this is what BMW could have done yep. with this car mm -hmm. had they chosen to. Mm -hmm. um, and I think it just came out clean. I totally agree with um, you. So you know, tell me a little bit about the, uh, the the carbon fiber stuff that you have on this car. Yeah. You have a little bit of carbon on the car. <laughs> yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> I did the mirror caps, the mm -hmm. M style, of course. Yep. Um, and then I did the 4CS. Yeah, the, the 4CS style. rear lip. Yep. Uh, for the rear lip and then the Varus for the front uh, front splitter. Best one they and make. And I think, yeah. I, Hands I, down. I think so. I think it's the best one. And I think it just looks so clean. I will do a carbon rear diffuser. Cool. Um, just been a little difficult finding a quad tipped 
uh, carbon diffuser. It is, it is tough to find, it, especially and, a good quality one. Yeah, mm -hmm. so that's been kind of on the back burner. You got the extensions too, side skirt extensions. Yep, those fit so just so understated and so uh, clean. I'm telling you, man, the and side skirt extensions are like the most underrated modification you can do to any BMW. Yeah. I think they just add so much to like the side profile of the car. Yeah. It looks amazing. You did uh, a different yeah. front grille. That's like yeah. the M3 style front grille. M3, uh, but I got it with the uh, tri-color. Yep, the tri-colors uh, on it. The colors. Yep. Uh, I thought that was, uh, that looked really clean. I have to ask you, what, like, what do you do to keep the car clean? Because this thing is immaculate. Like, I have not seen another F30 since I've had my F30 that is in nearly as good as condition as well, mine. <laughs> and this car is super super clean well that's kind of the goal like well i keep it in the garage i yeah. take care of it Gara man um, garage cat i, I take care of it um but i do need to respray the front nose it's got a few uh dings and chips yeah so it's I'm gonna inevitable have it's and, gonna happen when you're when you're driving on the freeways and i think i'm gonna have the whole thing ppf'd good call and ceramic i definitely um, agree with that so i'm gonna throw something at you Shoot. What do you think about doing the GTS style hood? I am conflicted. Um, when I saw that starting to happen, I absolutely love it. Mm -hmm. Don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm just conflicted in the entirety of should I go full, you know, M kind of clone yeah. and I, I kind of just decided to, to stop here. Not to say I that I won't do, do it. it. <laughs> yeah, not to say that I won't do it. Dude, it, it, I'm change, just it trying changes to... the car. I'm telling you right now. And plus, like, you don't need to worry about that because this thing will smash M3s. Like, you're, yeah. you're putting down the power that you can back it up. Like, when yeah. on my car, it was like a 328, so it's like, dang, I better not get in a race. Like, we're just going to go to car shows and stay off the Mexico strips with that car. <laughs> but with this car, you have the power to back it up. Yeah. I, it's... It, I, I'm torn. He's gonna do it. I'm torn. <laughs> I'm torn. Yeah, you, he's got a problem with talking me into mods on my car. <laughs> I really do. I really. I think just today at the car show, I talked him into doing the F80 control arms. Yeah, I think that's gonna <laughs> happen soon. Real soon. Yes. yes. <laughs> All right. So that's pretty much everything for the exterior. Um, why don't you tell me a little bit about the suspension that you have on this car? Well, it's pretty much the uh, just the H and R Sport Springs. Okay. That's the. That's really the only thing as far as suspension. Uh, what about suspension brakes? Work. I did the drilled and slotted rotors. I painted the hats, Those ceramic good. coated the hats. Yeah. Um, Doesn't that make a big difference? It does. It so looks so People much don't realize how, how big of a difference the ceramic coating on the yeah. hats, like it makes such a huge difference. It just looks good. It stays and, clean. Yeah, I'm yeah. not scrubbing them. Dude, I, don't, guys, I don't have to scrub them Ceramic coat your brake hats, I'm telling you. Um, it just, you don't notice the hat mm -hmm. at all. Right. Not with the way this, right. this setup is and it just keeps it super clean. Let's get into the stuff that everyone's waiting for. Let's get into the performance mods because this car, this car has a beast behind it. Tell me a little bit about what you've done on the, in the engine. All right, so it's the N55, mm -hmm. uh, of course, a pure stage two turbos, mm -hmm. snow performance meth injection, direct meth injection, okay. uh, as well as full bolt-ons, VRSF, downpipe, charge pipe, the 6.5 race intercooler, and she, she moves. She moves, uh, along with and she sounds insane. It sounds like a jet engine. <laughs> Like the spool is unbelievable. We have a MHD wedge performance tune in there. Okay. Have the XHP trans flash. Mm -hmm. Exhaust is the Dynan free flow, okay. which we customized to be a quad tip. Okay. And um, that's pretty much it as far as that. Going to be doing a, a exhaust cutout very soon, which is it eventually it's going to be valved. Basically, yeah. He can, he can set up a valve system in it, which is psh, the way to go. So the intake, I see that you have MST. Yep. Running on your intake system. Yeah, it definitely makes the uh, turbo sound. Oh, it sounds Amazing. so good with MST. Yeah. yeah, I remember. It's one of the loudest intakes that you can get on these cars. When I put the MST on my F30, it was like crazy loud, yeah. especially with pure. Like. And they say if you take off the top, mm -hmm. that it gets even louder. I find Makes that sense. I don't need to. That top can you stay don't there. Need to. That 
And if you did get the GTS hood, which you will, it's gonna get even louder. Cause you can hear everything. There's, there's also no sound bending. In, under there? Yeah, there's no oh. sound ending under the hood. Yeah. So, and then there's that big slit in there, yeah. which just it amplifies everything. It sounds, it would sound so sick on this car. I'm telling you right now. You cost you me did so it, much money. I do. It costs a lot. I cost a lot of people money. It's my fault, guys. I'm sorry. All right. So, in addition to all that, we're not done yet. He's running meth in this car. He's got the Breaking Bad mod. Tell me a little bit about the meth kit, what that does, and how you're running it. Okay, well, we have direct port meth injection from Snow Performance. Mm -hmm. We took the uh, tank and we put it in the windshield washer fluid reservoir. So he's actually running the meth tank in his windshield washer fluid reservoir. <laughs> like, I've never heard, he's, he knows people that are doing it. I've never heard that before and I'm like blown away right now. Like, that's so sneaky. So rather than having like an actual meth tank like in your trunk yeah. or something, yeah. it's it's the wind, it's the windshield washer. Oh, it's so cool. And if it gets low, it'll show up on my dashboard. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. So you can actually monitor where it's at by having it in your, dude, yeah. that is genius. Yeah, I got, I got that from uh, Pure F30. Super clean, you can't, by looking at this, the only way to tell that there's anything done to this mm -hmm. is right there, mm -hmm. is the, uh, the valve right there. Yeah, the little valve on top. That's it. It's genius. You're gonna have a little bit dirty of a windshield, but. I never use it anyway. I, I never did either. Mine didn't even work on my car. I, yeah, I you never use it. Guys, put, put meth in your windshield wiper, washer, reservoir. That's all you need. All right, so now we are on the inside of the car and this is, this is so cool. He's got the tablet up here with everything he needs. XHP, internet, his apps, music player, MHD, OB, like this is, this is so sick. So who makes this actual app? Like, how does this work? Uh, the actual UI mm -hmm. I found on Google Play Store, cool. and it's just a UI for uh, launching your apps. I think it's called Car Launcher AC. Yeah, I think it's called Car Launcher AC. So earlier you had all of these gauges up. Like, how do you put up all the gauges on it? Yeah, so if I wanted to see my no my gauges way. for MHD through the uh, Wi-Fi dongle that I have down okay. here. And this just all, all runs back here. I love it, dude, that's so sick. Yeah, I'm gonna have to change that white cable out. <laughs> yeah, gotta you gotta go. get a black one so it's nice and clean. <laughs> I have to find where this is gonna live permanently. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because right now, this is not solid. No, and you're not, and you're taking up some things that you might wanna use. Yeah. So I, it might not be like the best. I had a Red Bull this morning mm -hmm. and. Doesn't fit. I couldn't use it. Yeah. There are mounts that'll go in your CD player. Oh, I wonder if they're... So, potentially... Will it hold that up, though, I wonder? This could end up right there. Yeah, that might be a good spot for it, too. Yeah. Man, the utilization of that. Yeah. That is so cool. And then, obviously, you have your steering wheel. Is this wrapped? Uh, no, I recovered an Alcantara with the blue stripe. Oh, it looks nice. And then I did the paddle shifter uh, change out. He actually told me about this this modification. I did it on mine too. You upgraded to the what is it? What are they? This called? is the I think this is the LCI shifter. Yeah. But it's got a better feel in your hand. Much better feel. And I did the same one it's and got I loved it. Leather on the backside, yep. so in the leather boot. Just a lot nicer. So I, it's a I lot cleaner. Painted this black and ceramic coated it. Yeah, this is all OEM, the Alcantara, the dry carbon fiber. Dude. Um that is so clean. This is, yeah, this is definitely one of the cleanest setups for an interior that I've seen. It's very simple, which is exactly, that's, all that's I, what I love, man. That's all I want. Um, and you got the black on black, which is, oh man, it's super clean. All right, so tell me what this little controller in here does. It handles the, uh, the meth injection, so it'll come on, it'll start metering it into the uh, manifold mm -hmm. at seven P PSI. Okay. And then increase gradually as boost is applied. No way. And that's such a little sneaky spot for it too. Man, you really killed it on this interior. It's all about keeping it clean. It really is. You just, it's like factory, like OE plus, like you said. I really dig it. All right, so you've seen the inside, the exterior, the engine mods that Eric has done. Eric, tell me a little bit about the future of this car. What what else do you want to do to it? I feel like you've done so much already. Well, uh, the next, the very next thing is going to be the exhaust cutout. Yeah, um, we're going to do that in a couple weeks. You managed to talk me into the F80 control arms, 
So I have a feeling that's gonna happen fairly soon. Um, I'm looking into the N52 cam swap and uh, Pure F30, uh, it's also what, BT Willis mm -hmm. on YouTube. Yep. He's done that and apparently he's shown really good numbers. So I'm researching that, I've chatted with him a bit. Yeah. Um, so who does all the work on your car? Matt over at Euro Empire and those guys, friggin' brilliant. Shout out to those guys. I've known Euro Empire for a long time, super involved in the car scene, great guys. They're over in uh, Monroe, right? Yeah. I've actually never ridden in the car, but I think that that is about to change. Oh yeah. Let's go for a ride. A monster. <laughs> I'm excited, dude. Yeah. traction whatsoever that back just whips out it's pretty cold though yeah. it's like 40 degrees so like the tires are not gonna do that great of a job smile when you when you get to ride in cars like this <laughs> I could see it on his face too <laughs> Alright guys, thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed this one on Eric's 335. Make sure you guys go follow him at Grand Tour on Instagram. You should see it right here. Give him some love. You guys can follow his build. He's doing a ton of work for this car and he's already done so much. A lot of the stuff that I did to my car, he actually gave me inspiration to do, which is really cool. So it's kind of like full circle. Being that he was like an early on subscriber and now he's building an absolute monster of an F30. But if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you comment down below. Let me know what you think about Eric's the Storo Blue 335. Like this video, hit the bell notification, and just like that, this video is over, and I'm out. Peace. Ooh. Ooh.